All right, good morning, class. We are going to talk about how to do a science fair project. Raise your hand if you are planning to do a science fair project this year. All right, that looks like everybody in the room is planning to do a science fair project. Thank you. Does anyone already have their science project ideas? Oh, several of you do. What's your idea for your science fair project? Guys, how fast can a control car roll on different surfaces? A remote control car? That's interesting. So how fast can a remote control car roll on different surfaces? What are the surfaces you're going to use? Black pavement, concrete, and flat dirt road. Okay, so black pavement, concrete, and a flat dirt road. That's interesting. So you're going to measure the distance and the time and then calculate the speed? That sounds good. Which one do you think the car will roll the fastest on? Concrete. On the concrete road. Very good. Thank you. And did you say you had a project idea? What's your idea? What is the effect of different types of flour on a cake? The effect of different types of, that's very interesting, flour on a cake, because I like to bake cakes myself. What types of flour are you going to test? Uh, plain flour, self-rising flour, and cake flour. Okay, all right. So how will you know what the effect is? To measure how tall each cake gets longest. So you're going to measure how tall each cake is after it's baked. Very good. So you use the same amount of milk and the same amount of sugar and the same amount of eggs, but you'll change the flour. That sounds like a really good experiment. Very good. Very good. So today we're going to do a sample science experiment and we're going to talk about the different steps through the process of doing our science fair project and we're also going to build a science fair board. So, do you all remember last week when it was about to snow and on the news they said they were putting salt on the roads? Yes. Do you remember that? Why do you think they put salt on the roads? Why do they put salt on the roads? I think they put salt on the roads because like if the um, salt on the road already, the snow just comes down. And like, when the snow hits the salt, it like increases, or it decreases the um, snow when it hits the road. So it makes it so that there's less snow on the road for driving? That sounds like a good thing to do. Um, have you all ever heard of this stuff called ice melt? What's in ice melt? Ice melt contains sodium chloride. Very interesting. So for our experiment today, we're going to ask this question. And this is also the title of our experiment. What is the effect of adding salt to ice water? So for our backboard, we're gonna go ahead and pin this up. And I think I'll clip it just in case. I don't want it to fall while we're doing our video today. So we've had to do a bit of background research. And these were our background research questions. And we'll pin these to our board. And based on our background research, we're ready to do our hypothesis. So what do you think the answer to our question will be? So we're going to state it. Adding salt to ice water will blank the temperature of the water. What do you think? You think it will decrease the temperature of the water. So if we've got ice water, you think it will decrease the temperature. Raise your hand if you agree. How many of you think it will decrease the temperature of the water? Okay. Does anyone think it will increase the temperature of the water? Okay, we got one person who thinks it's gonna increase the temperature of the water. Very good. So we've done our research, and I'm gonna write decrease because most said decrease, but we could all be wrong and he might be correct. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna expect that it will decrease the temperature based on our background research. So, for our experiment, I've gathered the following materials, okay? So these are our materials that we'll need for our experiment, and I will clip these to our board. And do you think it's important that other people be able to try this experiment? It is very important. Sometimes when people come to the science fair, they don't necessarily believe your experiment, or it may be that they think your experiment is really interesting and they want to try it themselves. So we have to give very, very simple procedures. So we're writing our procedure very, very simply. 
for our board. We put it in as few steps and use as few words as possible so that someone else can read it and then go home and try it. And hopefully they're going to get the same results. Okay? So before we get going with our experiment, we have to talk about our controlled variables. Our controlled variables. Controlled variables are the aspects of the experiment that must remain the same. So what we're going to do, if you look at our procedure, we're going to put the same amount of water. The water is already there. We'll put, I didn't finish. Um, we will put the same amount of ice into each container, but we will put different amounts of what? Salt. We'll put different amounts of salt and we'll measure the temperature of each. And then we will graph our, we'll collect our data and we'll make a graphic of our data and then we'll draw our conclusions. But what are some of the things that must be the same during our experiment? What's one thing? The amount of water, what's something else? The ice. Okay, the amount of ice must be the same. You got another one? What's something else? Salt, the amount of salt. Well, the amount of salt is that thing that we're changing. So we're gonna call the amount of salt, you got, it, got ahead of us. The amount of salt is gonna be our independent variable, that one thing that's different. But we have the same amount of water, the same amount of ice, we'll do it in the same size containers, we'll stir them all the same, We'll use the same type of thermometer. Th same type of thermometer. So we're not going to measure some in Celsius and some in Fahrenheit. We'll do them all in the same temperature scale. So our independent variable is the one thing we're changing. And what did we say we were changing? The amount of salt. Each one will have a different amount of salt. And by doing that, we will get one dependent variable. And what is the one thing that we will find out? What's the thing we'll find out? Um, what, what is the effect of adding salt to the water? Good. We're going to find out the answer to our question. And that's our dependent variable. Your dependent variable is basically your results. Okay? So I think we are just about ready to go. All right. All right, so we've got our water. We're going to put two scoops of ice into each container. Two scoops. So why do I have to put two scoops into each container? Why can't I put two scoops in most of the containers? Why? Good, I can only have one thing that is different. And what is our one thing that's different? What's our one thing? The salt, good. Our salt is the only thing that can be different. I have to pour. Now, what would be maybe a better way to measure our ice? I'm putting a scoop, but that's not perfect. And when we are scientists, we need to really try to be perfect. What would be a better way for us to measure our ice? Anybody? What would be a better way? We could possibly use a beaker. Is there another way that we could maybe get a better measurement of our ice? Um, a, a small, I say a scale. I think you're right. We could use a scale. So in each container, maybe we could put 100 grams of ice. But for our purposes today, we measured in a container. But it appears to be the same. We're good? All right. So you're going to take our data. Tell me your name again. Tabitha is going to write down our data. So this is our data chart. So she's going to record the starting temperature of each container and then we'll add our salt, and then she'll record our final temperature for each container. Does that make sense? Okay. So our starting temperature of our first container, what are you expecting the starting temperature to be? One degree. You expecting it to be what? One degree. One degree. And you are right, it is one degree. 
So in container, the first container, we've got one degree. In our next container, it is one degree. We've got one degree. And in container number three, we're also at one degree. Okay? And we're measuring in Celsius, so one degree Celsius. Should we add salt to the first container? No. We should not, and we even put a zero on it. It's important to label our containers. So in this container, it says one. So I'm gonna put one container of salt. In this one, I'm gonna put two. I feel like I'm doing a cooking show. And our third container, we will put, I'm sorry, our fourth container, we'll put three scoops of salt. And then we're gonna give them a little stir. And what do you think our next step will be? Measure the temperature again. So we get our final temperature numbers. And I'm noticing there's a good bit of salt on the bottom here. Let's give it a real good stir. Oh, I'm already seeing a temperature change. And most of you said that temperature change would be up or down. Most of you said down. All right, let's see what we get. Do I need to stir the first one? Well, no, but since we stir the others, let's go ahead and stir the first one, although there is no salt. All right, let's see. The first one, the temperature is actually zero now, okay? Our second one, the temperature is negative four degrees. You writing that down? Negative four degrees. With two scoops of salt, and I still see some salt on the bottom of the container, but with two scoops of salt, wow, I see negative six degrees. And with three scoops, and again, there's still some salt on the bottom. Let's see what we have. Oh, negative eight degrees. Negative eight degrees. I'm gonna bring this close. You agree? Okay, so did anyone notice a pattern? What was our pattern? Two. What was the pattern? It up by two and it was colder every time you put more ice on the salt. More salt, good. So the pattern was with more salt, the colder it got. Very good, very good. So our results, we observed that when salt is added to ice water, the temperature decreases. The temperature decreases. Okay, and we've got our data chart. So we'll put that on our board. And we'll put our results on our board. And then we've got space on our board for our conclusions. So what can we conclude from our experiment? What have we learned? Yes, ma'am. That when you add when you add more salt to the ice water, mm -hmm. it it decreases and the temperature got lower and lower and lower. Very good. The temperature gets lower and lower and lower. So if you all go back to the page that you did your research, you'll find out more information about making that mixture of salt and ice water and why the temperature decreases, and eventually why the salt will melt the ice and you will better be able to answer the first question, why we put salt on the roads before it snows. All right, does anyone have questions? Thank you very much.